There's a couple different methods for drawing your pistol if you're carrying it. It just depends on where you're carrying it. You know what I mean? If it's appendix or if it's a, a kidney position. So if it's an appendix carry, I can get away with scooping my shirt and the seatbelt at the same time. Uh, this is if I wasn't just in a car crash, right? If I was just in a car crash, the seatbelt's gonna get really tight and lock up. So I can go here and pull this up to get to my pistol and draw the pistol, bringing it up. So I'm best case possible, I'm not sweeping my legs. And then from here, I can rotate whichever direction. If I have it in the kidney position and it's on my side, instead of trying to pull the seatbelt up, what I'll do is I actually grab my t-shirt right here in the middle and I yank my shirt up so that way I can get to the pistol in the kidney position because I'm not going to be able to pull the seatbelt all the way up and over if the pistol's on my side. Yeah. So two different methods. What we could do or what can happen is if I do the t-shirt grab method right here in the middle for my appendix carry, yeah. sometimes the seatbelt comes up with it and now it's sitting across the pistol and the handle. So that one doesn't really work. So I would use the t-shirt grab if it's on my side, right? This is again as a lefty, but this would be the same context for you righties if you're sitting in the passenger seat, right? So we have that to work with. The other thing here is navigating the seatbelt, right? We'll try to navigate the seatbelt without the pistol in my hand first. There's two methods of, of thought on this, okay? I can take the door right? Push the door open and pin it with my leg. Okay. That's one aspect of this. This may happen first. This may happen second, depending on the situation, right? The seatbelt part, again, two methods of assault. They both work. It might be determined by which seat you're in. So which pistols holding or which hand is your pistol in, in relation to which side is the seatbelt coming across? One method would be this. Let's just take the guns out of the situation for a second. One method would be this. I grab with the side that's at the door. I grab the seatbelt. I follow the seatbelt down to the buckle. And now I'm gonna I'll release the buckle with my cross hand. When I bring this over, it clears the seatbelt from any of my gear. The seatbelt doesn't slide across me, okay? The other method of this is I can grab the seatbelt, slide it down, or just come to here, slide it down, hit the buckle. But now what happens is this arm is still in the seatbelt when I go to release it. So for me as a lefty, for example, if I'm here and the pistol's already out and I'm shooting and I go to take the seatbelt off, in this case, I'm obviously not gonna take my shooting hand and grab the seatbelt and slide it down. So my support hand comes here, but realize as I go to bring this up, I have to do a hand swap so I don't get tangled in the seatbelt. If the door was already open, right? Let's say I was boom, 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 and I'm still here and in this, I get the door open or maybe the door wasn't shut all the way, right? In this case, if I'm going to get out, I can sweep on my way out but as a righty, this works nicely as a righty in this chair, right? It works better for me as a lefty, as a passenger. As the righty's here, bang, 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 the righty can take his support hand off, which is the left, grab here at the shoulder, slide down, and now this clears all his gear or all your stuff, and you can step out of the car, right? <clears throat> so again, just a couple methods on navigating the seatbelt, and I know it sounds like kindergarten shit because it's like, dude, it's a fucking seatbelt. I take it on and off every day, right? But under stress, when you start doing this, like this is one of the things that will get you stuck and trapped in the vehicle. As silly as it seems, the seatbelt's a big deal, right? Because it's the one time you have to stop the fight for a brief second to get your seatbelt and to get the doorknob managed, right? One more thing on the doorknob. Another thing to take into consideration is before I do any of that, I need to put the car in park or I need to know where the lock and unlock buttons are because there's a lot of these vehicles that once you put it in the drive, the doors automatically lock. So if you're in the passenger seat and you go to get out and the driver didn't put the car in park, you're over there going, trying to get the door open. The door's not opening. You know what I mean? So yeah. you need to know where those buttons are 
and slow things down for yourself to where you can find the stuff, manipulate it, right? The reason I'm talking about putting my leg on the door, okay, this is more important for like armored vehicles because the doors are super heavy and they'll come back and you can break your leg. But if I throw the door open like this, see how it bounces back? So if I go like this, I throw the door open, it bounces back and my leg gets clipped in between here, I can uh, injure myself, right? Or I get stuck on the door trying to get out or run into the door, right? So when I open the door, I'm here, I throw the door open, I pin it with my leg to either then stay and shoot or pin it with my leg so that I can then step out. Does that make sense? Yeah.